We're gonna head to the security room outside the custom gates. We've got a nice key. This game is a horror game. It's not a survival tactical shooter. It is a <laughs> Let's go. My name's Dan Giesing. Welcome to the next episode of Escape from Tarkov. We last left off. We're, we, we got some good stuff going. We got a, a decked out Vepra. I know that's maybe a bit of a misnomer. But um, we're dialed in and ready to go. But we're going to need some help here. Uh, the purpose... The goal of this episode, stack as much monies as possible. We have very little guns. We, oh, I had to mod a Vepr. Just, just let that sink in for a second. Like, I don't mind modding a gun. But if I'm going to mod a gun, it better be worth taking out for a steak dinner. And let's, uh, you know what? I don't want to be disparaging to the Vepr because it's all we got right now. So I'm just going to just cut myself off there. But the goal of this episode, get as much monies as possible. This is about the best gear we have that, that we can muster together here. There's bucket. Number one. Let's, let's, let's dial in. Do we hear anything? Another good indication is that back door open. It's not. So maybe we have a bunch of rich boys on this server. That don't want to loot the gun buckets. And that's fine by me. So we need to take everything we can get. Oh. 4X. It's been so long since we've seen you. That's a good start right there. No matter what, we got a 4X in our back pocket. They go for the monies, but they don't go for what matters, the 4X. I don't even know how much those are. It doesn't matter because we're not going to sell it. Oculars are dialed in. Ooh. Take a Keter. That's probably easier folded. And a VSS cover. All right. That was the right decision. Now is it the right decision to double back here and get extra greedy? Why not? I mean, if you're going to mitigate greed, at least make it worth it. Anything on these shelving units. The old sleeping scab. I wonder what his story is. You know, something happened to him. Didn't necessarily want to get involved in that, but I think our next stop, we're going to get out of here, go towards the security room that we have a key for. Outside the custom gate. So we're going to head to the security room outside the custom gates. We've got a nice key. <laughs> this game is a horror game. It's not a survival tactical shooter. It is a Yo, I forgot I didn't have automatic. Come on, come on, come on. Scavs like bananas, they come in bunches. We gotta search his, his vest, because we need a key. Not the key we needed, but we'll still take it. Nice little quick jump there. tell if someone else was shooting at him. I felt like someone else was shooting at him there. You saw there was like a second flash at the grassy knoll? Unless I'm... That's why I hesitated a little bit on him. Alright, that's alright. Well, th we should hopefully get some grenadines here. Get some, get some nice grenadines. We also got to start thinking about 
loot situations. I don't know why we picked that up. Mm, okay, looking good. Let's go ahead and take a quick second and load this up. I, I don't know that we're safe, but I feel that we're okay. So dial that one in just a little bit. Just, just dial it in. I think there's another... People always tell me, ah, there's a second case in here. Nothing's in there. Um... I just don't feel like this is a great thing. You know, like, we don't really care so much about ammo. I mean, we do, but... Someone's outside. I thought I saw someone outside. Let's get a nice reload in, and let's top this one off. And we're gonna keep it moving. Uh, anything of highfalutin value? I guess we could do that. And let's keep it moving here. We, we checked this, right? There was nothing of value. U.S. ammo, that's trash, right? We only really want ammo we're normally going to use. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so far customs has been nice to us. Nothing out of the ordinary. No snipers at the grassy No, We're okay right now. It's considering worth taking. We don't have any... We're going to take it. I don't know. I, we got to start getting a little bit better on our valuations. You know, the PDE ratios, the dividends. Well, we're going to head to... Next up, we're going to go gas station. And then we'll do a late dorm sweep. we got to remember, victory is the key to success. <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to keep it moving one step at a time. We need the monies. Sure, we should have done a sweep prior, but we need the monies. Nice and easy. Every cash register, ring it up. Sometimes they drop some on the floor, too. Just in case. I mean, hopefully we can get a 10 banger here. 10 racks of high society. Every 10,000 counts right now. I, th I think we're hovering around 150,000 ruples. Just about 700 short of a triple double. Kind of candy milk. There's six G's right there. Picking up the pace on our looting a little bit. Picking up the pace. So this is untapped. Do we have this key? Ah, we do not. We don't have any of the good keys here. Not yet, anyways. Not yet, but we will soon. All right, so we're, we're, we're look. It's mid-level fluency, but we're alive. Not hearing a lot of action. <laughs> Hang in here. All right, so we're going to wrap. We will go. We'll go two-story dorm first. Let's see what happens here. Quietly, 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 quietly. Okay, looks unlooted. Let's take a quick second and review the keys that we have. We have 206 and 105. And I believe 206 is the water room. Yeah. <laughs> what do we get rid of here? Um, Sally, I saw some. I saw Sally come through. 
Custom's been very quiet these last two rounds. Stay dialed. I thought I heard someone. You never know where the customs office key is going to pop up. You just don't know. Also, people are telling me to hit... I'm going to start hitting escape instead of backspace. People are saying, Dan, start hitting that backspace button. I respect it. We'll start working it into the arsenal. Alright, that's... So we can pretty much get rid of the 206 key at this juncture. Alright. Chip in a chair here. Th these have been unlooted. We're gonna redial up. We probably gotta make some decisions here on... What's worth keeping and what's not. Guns over everything, over bandages. Yes, since we have the celly. So bandages will be the first things to go. That being the third thing though. Alright, come on, come on. Give us something. I still, you know what? In all our playthroughs, I've yet to see the scav boss as well. That. Start hitting the escape, man. Start get, work the escape button into the arsenal. This is also on the hit list. Alright. Keep dialing here. I'm starting to really like those tapes. Like, they have a purpose now. Anything that has a purpose that, 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 that we align with. You know, a free M4. We already have that key. That, that was our shot at the... That was our shot at the customs office key. Which is fine. So four more loot boxes right here to take a look at. Give yourself a chip and a chair here. What do we got? <laughs> the stallion that mounts the world. Alright, we said that's on the, the hit list. We should keep one bandage. What else is on the hit list here? That was on the hit list. We'll take a stallion. Look. Never gonna cry over spilt stallion milk. Keep trying to work escape in the arsenal. Here's the plan here. We're gonna go 105, room 105 after this. Shoot over to the other dorms. Check a couple rooms. And call it a day. That's a plan. Can you acquiesce? Does that sound like a good plan? I think it's a good plan. Do you think it's a good plan? Right. Now it's time to go. We're going down the stairs. 105. Yeah, this is all looted. We got a nice juicy spot for a nice big gun. I think that's worth some monies. Um, I don't know what we get rid of here. We, how many bandies do we have? Got to make a decision here quickly. Sorry, bandy. All right, brace for impact. We're going to crack that glass inadvertently. Three, two, one. No crackage. All right. Um, is this 105? Let's go. Is this the safe room? Safe room, safe room. I'm going to call right now Bitcoin. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. He called. Let's go. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Get that out of here. 
<laughs> you gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to slip one past Nikita. It is pretty early. I mean, now the greed is gonna be flowing here. Let's hit the main floor. I don't believe we have this key. Ooh. We might as well take a shot here. <laughs> we call our shots around these parts. All we need is a custom key. To make this one of the most falutin runs of all time. Customs office. Come in. Give us the office. It's always, it's always the journey. It's not about the destination. It's about opening up one of these loot boxes. When you least expect it. What keys do we have here? 118. I don't think we rarely use that key. I want it sealed up. Mm, we'll go to the other side and use it. And then... We're going to check this room right here. Maybe get a gun. If nothing there, we're, we're going to check the gun box. And then... It's time to go. I mean, you pass on a box, you can't pass on it. <laughs> oh, that's a fresh one. That's a fresh sight. I don't know what it is, but... That's why you don't pass on them. Uh, do we have a level 3 key? Not that I can remember. Let's go check this box. We got that dude to loot out there, too. So much greed. It's time to go. This box, the man, then we're out. That's it. AKM. How do you say no to some of this stuff? Alright, let's go loot my mans and then... Then we're out of here. Slides and DM. So here's the goal. Goal right here. Go loot that guy. Hope. <gasps> oh. Go loot that guy. Get the heck out of here. Don't need those keys. Nothing in his pockets. Nothing in his vest. I think we're about due for a reload here, too. Alright, so let's... Well, we're going to take the vest here, because we need it. Uh, AKM. Quickly. Give us a slot for that. Time to go, boys. Um, 22 minutes in the raid. Smuggler's boat's probably gone, but that's what we're going to give it a, a, a good old college try here. Hey, isn't there like a, one of these trunks? Isn't there something good in one of these? Yes. Zarya Stark, we don't have room for it. Now we do, how, uh, is this thing empty? It's about half. Discard, discard, reload. Alright, we're on this. Okay, none down there. I think, if I had a bet, Smuggler's Boat's gone, but I'd be pleasantly surprised if it wasn't. Sometimes you get a little lucky. You put your oars in the water, and you never know what can happen. <laughs> 
what was that little that little dab that we got there at the end? 2,800 XP, we'll take it. Four kills, all with a very, very standard Vepper. We, yeah, it was gassed up a little bit. But what do we walk away with? Let's get a, a head count on this one. Uh, only stuff we're going to sell. Mm, sell. We're going to keep that. We'll probably slide this over to the AKM Veps. Everything else we're going to keep. Uh, from a wallet standpoint, picked up a nice 11,000. Let, let's, let's get a final tally. Go to Prapper here. So 32 G's plus we'll go to peacekeeping. So probably another 35, but how could we forget? Very foolish, foolish. An additional Bitcoin, some candy milk. I forgot about that. A new site and a Forex. <laughs> so actually, you know what? Go back to therapist here. Give us another. Uh, that's probably a 40k run not to mention the bitcoin for us that was a good one thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the episode if, if you did click the like button helps out let me know what you guys think of the new edited format in the comments below do you like it you getting used to it do you miss it let me know next time later thank you so much for tuning in to today's escape from tarkov video if you enjoyed it i want to let you know we go live mondays wednesdays and fridays at 1 p.m eastern standard time on twitch.tv slash dan geesling with more highfalutin gameplay just like you see right here in Tarkov. We have a lot of fun with the game. We don't take it super serious. Uh, but really what we focus on in the community is having a positive, clean, entertaining environment. Uh, we'd love for you guys to join us Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Twitch.tv slash Dan Geesling. If there's any ever confusion as to when we go live, go to whenisdanlive.com. And I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy the video.